Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bringing another Blade and Soul video. This time we're going to do a video on how to fight a summoner. We're going to look at what skills the summoner has, offensive, defensive, any sort of CCs that it has. So hopefully after watching this video, you're able to kind of understand what skills are happening, what each skill does, and kind of relatively when summoners are going to cast their skills. This guide is kind of for the people that are starting out PvP, so it's not for you know people that are in the gold rankings or anything like that. It's for people that are in copper and silver that are just getting into PvP and have no idea what summoner class is capable of and how to fight the summoner. Keep this in mind that this is not an I win scenario where the guy is going to give you all the necessary things to basically beat a summoner. What it's going to give you is the ability to kind of figure out you know when to use your counters so without further ado let's get started so one of the bread and butter skills for the scummoner is your grasping roots or weed whack skill this one is an eight second snare which is essentially a root um usually they have it spec in pvp but sometimes i've seen ones that have foregone that for the damage but generally speaking expect this snare for eight seconds in addition to the snare if they have it spec for any of the lower tier ones it's also going to decrease your movement speed by 40 percent next cookie cutter kind of bread and butter skill is thorn strike this one i haven't seen any sort of definitive uh, spec for it i've seen some that has the damage increase uh, if you had Reback Poison and some that has an extra dot. The animation for this skill is very distinct. It's essentially a bunch of roots that come out of the ground and damage you. You can kind of see it right there. Um, again, I haven't really seen anything definitive in terms of uh, what it's specced into. Uh, usually, I think I've seen more of the direct damage from Reback rather than the dot. Next skill is Doom and Bloom. This is again one of their bread and butter skills. It's a great skill that essentially heals them for 100% of the damage that they do to you. It's a dot that they put on that you can kind of combo with other other uh, other dots that it has. Um, you can also spec into it where it heals 20% of the health of the familiar that's nearby so the cat um i don't think a lot of people spec into the 20 percent um i think a lot of people do it in pve at least but majority of the time this thing is going to be on you as much as you can in addition to being a kind of a heal over time it's also their primary way of focus recovery and what it does is essentially puts a little flower on top of you come with that right here so it puts a little flower on top of you you can't see it on this guy you can kind of see it on his back right there um, and while that thing is ticking, it's going to heal you for a tremendous amount of health. From their damage side, their big damage is going to come from Sunflower. Sunflower is their right mouse button skill. But what the big thing with Sunflower is Super Sunflower, which is essentially if you get hit by Sunflower and you have any of these prereqs, essentially if you have Doom and Bloom, which we just talked about, this one's again you're gonna you're gonna definitely get hit by super sunflower is the big the big thing it's doom and bloom or flying nettles or a pinned uh enemy all, any of these things are always going to be happening to you so you're bound to be hit by super sunflower and this thing does a ton of damage the only drawback that they have for this skill is that it's really focus heavy. It's three focus per cast. So they can only kind of cast it uh, very few times. So the next skill we want to look at is Briar Patch or Flying Nettles. They're the same skill. And the prereqs for this skill that you'll have to be careful for is Grasping Roots, which is against the snare that we talked about. Um, or any of the other damage skills and what it, it's essentially a nice combo where you can put this skill on and then combo with briar patch it's those little three things that you saw pop out that one it does a ton of damage it pretty much does about 8k damage in 10 seconds at 45 the next skill you kind of want to look out for is siege shroud this is their block 
And what Siege Shroud does is if you if they block any of the attacks, it puts them to stealth for six seconds. In addition to that, they're actually immune to damage and status effects for 1.5 seconds of that thing. And the what it looks like is essentially they'll hold up a dandelion up in the air. When that happens, you do not want to attack them. So now let's look at their defensive skills. Uh, the summoner has very few defensive skills compared to other classes in my opinion. Uh, the two big ones is tag team and backstab. Tag team is only when it's knocked down and what it does is it switches positions with the familiar. So you want to look out for this one, especially if you're doing any sort of knockdowns for like uh, blade dancers and blade masters for example, uh, where they have a lot of knockdowns. It completely switches positions with the cat. So if you're targeting the the uh, scummoner and you're attacking them make sure you're looking out for this the back step is their trinket aka the tab skill it's in the number two position for this class and what this does is it rolls you back and puts you in stealth for three seconds so let's take a look at these two skills let me go attack this guy and have him charge me real quick so the rollout looks kind of like this again puts me in stealth for three seconds quite fast so now I'll do the switch positions thing. And let's go ahead and charge me here, guy. Thank you. And then boom, I switch positions with the cat and the cat's over there and I'm um, behind the target. So you want to look out for that one if you're doing any sort of knockdown. So now let's take a look at the offensive cat skills. One of the big, big things about the Scummoner is that its cat acts independently of the summoner so if you cc the summoner if you stun it you know knock it down the cat can still use its skills and this is why the summoners are really really uh potent is the fact that you know you get them in a combo let's say you know a ground combo and the cat comes up and just knocks you down and completely ruins your combo so here's the skills that are going to kind of affect you when you're fighting a summoner uh and it's cat uh, the first one is Strike. This is essentially a giant hammer that comes up. Most people have a respect for the day so you can kind of stop any sort of combo going on. St stop a ground grapple, etc. Um, and then the other one is Ankle Biter, which most people actually have it uh, kind of set to surprise gift for the damage and the knockdown. But essentially you're going to have a knockdown from the cat as well as I think one of the most potent skill in the Scummoner's uh, arsenal is the power pounds which is your cat pin uh, in this one the cat jumps on top of you and then pins you there and does some damage to you after 10 seconds now the thing about this is if you have it spec it disables your defensive skills so be aware of that so if you're trying to dodge right afterwards if you're trying to block right afterwards you're not going to be able to do it in addition to that it decreases your defense by 50 percent this is huge because what most people will do they'll combo it with sunflower and get a huge damage boost out of it and then finally if they have it spec three points in uh this is for those classes that are kind of very combo heavy so kung fu master assassin etc um it will knock you down after two uh, knock you down for two seconds after 10 seconds so what that means is cat will pin you you know do some scratch get off of you after 10 seconds you'll get knocked down again so let's look at this cat's kind of utility skills that the scummoner will have uh there's a couple of them that you want to be aware of you have the big one is true friend which resists damage uses for five damage uses for five seconds so if you're kind of using a combo and the the scummoner knows that, that you're going to be hit with the combo he's going to pop that skill and what it does it's kind of like a block you can think of now this thing can only last for five seconds and most summoners will pop that skill around usually when you're going to be hit with kind of like a penta slash like skill so some one of those skills that are having multiple hits uh, usually pop that or if you can kind of kind of foreshadow that there's a big combo coming along the way the next utility cells come what somewhat utility rather is lunge lunge is kind of your uh, skill essentially the scummoner skill that sends them sends their cat out to attack a target they can spec into it and most of them do where if the cat hits you more than twice in this skill combination it will stun you for two seconds so be kind of prepared for that if you see the cat rushing you right away so let's look at the charge skill here I'm gonna target this guy and send him in he's gonna charge at the thing jump from side to side if he hits you 
uh, more than twice, it's going to stun you. So, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much wraps up our video. We will be doing another one for the Assassin and the Blade Dancer. Uh, so, stay tuned to that. If you like the video, please do like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more Blade and Soul videos.